Welcome back to BNN. Now, Larry Madowo clashed with President William Ruto's press secretary, Emmanuel Talam, over the president's participation in the Italy-Africa summit. Madowo, known for his banter and critiques, highlighted what he perceived as a contradiction in Ruto's actions. The decision that we have made as AU going forward if there is going to be a discussion between Africa and any other country, it needs to be represented by the chair. According to Larry, despite President Ruto's earlier stance that African leaders shouldn't be summoned by individual countries, he attended the summit in Italy while his East African counterparts like Museveni and Samia Suluhu opted out. He further pointed out the irony of President Ruto standing alongside the AU officials, who were meant to represent them by the way, and Emmanuel Talam, now the press secretary to the president, responded by advising Maduro to read the president's speech. This prompted a sharp clapback from Larry, who said, You don't have the range to lecture me about journalism. And this created a buzz on Twitter as most people felt like, Yo, Talam, Hapo, Hana clapback. I'll sample some of the comments. Private figure says, Unajaribu kusema Emmanuel, sim talam. Japheth says, Had tackle, he, haina kambak kabisa. And lastly, Golden Banda says, A much formal yet brutal way of saying, You don't have the facilities, big man. President Ruto's speech at the summit acknowledged the discrepancy, emphasizing the unique and inspiring approach taken by the host country. Part of his speech read, I have previously noted that an invitation extended by one country to all 54 African nations did not necessarily serve Africa's best interests, but those of us present at this conference representing our colleagues find it different and inspiring due to the approach you have taken, Madam Prime Minister. At COP28, you emphasize that Africa die need charity, but rather a cooperation that rejects paternalistic and predatory approaches. This messaging, this messaging resonates well with us and we warmly welcome the announcement of the ambitious Matei plan. So now the question arises, does Larry Maduro's critique hold weight? Or did President Ruto's speech effectively address Larry's concerns? The clash between the two brings the spotlight on the apparent contradiction, and it also raises questions about the many diplomatic trips we've witnessed. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. Catch you next time. Hey, I'm Rambo. Hey, you're fishing me. You're fishing me. You need. Ume, 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 harakisha. I mean, on a bones. I'm a third time size.